Eliza Borne, the assistant web editor of Book Page, and I am in Little Rock today at the Arkansas Literary Festival talking to Kieran Pittman, the author of Planting Dandelions, um, which is featured in the Mother's Day Roundup in the May issue of Book Page. And Kieran lives in Little Rock now and is reading today at the Literary Festival, and we are very excited to talk to her about her book. So thanks so much for talking to Book Page. <laughs> Thank you. Um, First, could you just tell me a little bit about your book? Sure. Tell, tell our readers. Okay. <laughs> um, it's a memoir of uh, family life, and it roughly spans 12 years of sort of the process of becoming a family, settling down. Um, there are essays, so they kind of can each stand alone, but they're chronologically linked throughout the book, so I think you get a good sense of the, the development of our life as a family, collectively, and also my own evolution. Mm -hmm. um, sort of going from a kind of free spirit boho mm -hmm. girl to a, a mom of three, minivan driving, soccer yeah. mom. <laughs> There's a funny line that's, you know, some people jump out of the picket fence and you, how you jumped into the picket fence. Yeah, <laughs> both of these, that's right. The subtitle is Field Notes from a Semi-Domesticated Life. Could you explain semi-domesticated? Yeah, and I'm glad you asked that because that's really the heart of the book for me. Um, there's a line in the book that you know, no woman is ever truly wholly domesticated. Mm -hmm. And I think you know, all of us maintain a, a wilderness inside that, um, that doesn't fully belong to the lives we've made. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that it's very hard to honor that in our culture. And um, you know, we're expected to be completely immersed in family life. And um, you know, there's part of our, our wild self that just doesn't get a lot of attention. So I really wanted to honor that in the book. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a really funny book, but also very personal. Stories about your three sons and your husband, and I wondered if, one, how you feel about your kid, your son's reading this in 10 years, <laughs> and also if you had conversations with your husband as you were writing it, sort of where you draw the line, and what's too personal. And well, uh, fortunately, through the experience of blogging for five years before I started writing the book, I had some um, experience with where the boundaries were, and I had a lot of time you know, before I was really full in the public eye mm -hmm. to make decisions about you know, what was allowable, possible, and sort of where the boundary was between what's mine and what's theirs. And, um, my husband is an incredible good sport about all of this and has been really generous in allowing me to share our story with other people. Uh, and certainly not everybody would have the tolerance for that, but he's, he's really totally on board. The kids reading the book in 10 years, I tell them, the oldest is 12, and then I have a 10-year-old and a, I think about a six-year-old, about to be seven. Uh, and I said, you can't read this book until you're 18. Oh. <laughs> so, but they're dying to read it. Like, they're really curious. They love the cover. My seven-year-old will come to me and say, and he'll say, please, can we read Planning Dandelions tonight for bedtime? Here it is. Blogger, as she said, and also writes a column for Good Housekeeping. And I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about the difference between blogging and actually writing a book. Um, because it, it does seem like we are all the time hearing about bloggers who get book deals. And, you know, why would you encourage somebody who reads your blog to also buy a book? What's different about the book than the blog? Well, mainly I think it has to do with uh, context. And, you know, I was writing about our life for years before I sat down to write the book. There were things, and this goes back to the issue of uh, boundaries that you mentioned. You know, there were places I would go in our in writing about our personal lives. I looked at the blog as kind of a diary of days. Mm -hmm. um, I, there were things I didn't want to share with just idle passersby, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. So, you know, blogs do get a lot of just sort of drive by traffic. And, um, you know, I just felt that there were things that were too intimate that I wanted to write about at some time, but not in that context. So the book. You know, a person who picks up a book comes to it with a certain investment, mm -hmm. and uh, I felt I needed them to meet me halfway before I would share certain more intimate details of our, of our mm -hmm. life. So, context is certainly this you know, much deeper context with the book format. In terms of the process, the difference was really one of endurance. Mm -hmm. So it was like going from sprints to marathon, and yeah. that was a big adjustment. Mm -hmm. Since, as I said, this is in our Mother's Day roundup, and actually. We are at a hotel, you might be able to tell. Uh, we just dragged Kieran away from breakfast with her mom, and I was wondering if you could share any lessons from your mom's mothering that you have. Yeah, I mean, just where would I even begin? The main was just acceptance. 
Thank you so much, Kieran. Thank and you go so much. read about planting dandelions in book page, and we'll also be giving away a signed copy on our blog. So thanks so much. Read our review of planting dandelions in the May issue of Book Page, or look for it on bookpage.com.